Hello everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and as you might notice we have a few new things around here. We have a new desk, we have a new set, we have new walls, we have just about new everything. And to celebrate, I'm going to be giving you guys a first look at this brand new dual GPU video card from AMD. This is the AMD Radeon HD 7990. So I'm going to give you guys some gratuitous close-up shots of this video card, and I'm also going to be reading off some of these specifications, but I will start off with a quick measurement. This is a sizable graphics card, but bear in mind there are two GPUs in here, so you essentially have a uh, two-way Crossfire X configuration. It measures 12 inches long, so this is one of those video cards that you have to double-check your computer case to make sure that you will have enough space uh, width-wise in order to fit it within. Uh, you also notice that AMD has gone with an open cooling solution for this by way of three downward firing uh, fans that you can see right there. And speaking of the fans, I should give those a measure too, since I have not yet. Uh, these are 85 millimeter fans measured straight across. Again, three of them and they're all firing down at a very, very sizable aluminum fin array, as you can see through the side there. It extends across the entire length of the card and for both GPUs, which are located here and here. Uh, the uh, heat pipe array is going to be dispersing the heat up into the fin array and then the fans are going to be blowing down on those, dispersing the heat from the fins, as well as pushing some air over the voltage regulation uh, componentry inside, which provides power to the GPUs as well as the memory. Now you also notice here is an extra copper fin array right there, and copper is something that you don't see quite as often in GPUs these days, but that is again providing some additional heat dissipation, and uh, that is providing more heat dissipation for the VRM components right there. The 385 millimeter fans uh, are located all on top, and due to the open design, they're going to be ejecting air pretty much out all the sides, as you can see. So uh, if you are installing this in a computer, you might want to uh, make sure you have plenty of airflow so that you, you can evacuate the hot air that uh, comes out as a result. But the GPUs inside, and I'll flip around here so you can at least see the back plates of them, are pretty much uh, AMD Radeon HD 7970 gigahertz edition GPUs. They are slightly underclocked, which is not uncommon for dual GPU cards. Uh, but the 7970 gigahertz editions, codenamed Tahiti, uh, the gigahertz editions will run at uh, 1,000 megahertz or 1 gigahertz, and they'll uh, typically boost clock up to uh, 1,050. Uh, the 7990 actually has a base clock of 950, and it will boost clock up to 1 gigahertz. So you still effectively get gigahertz edition GPUs in here, just slightly underclocked, and uh, they're going to run nice and cool by way of the cooling solution that's been uh, added up on top right here. Now, if you're looking at this card and you're saying, well, we've actually already seen a 7990, well, the truth is you haven't. You've seen some other companies' iterations of that. You might be familiar with, uh, for instance, with the Devil 13 that you might have seen here on Newegg TV. You might also be familiar with uh, the Asus Ares 2, which is another video card that we demonstrated here on Newegg TV, also ran some benchmarks on. Uh, those were independent companies' versions of a dual 7970 video card. This is actually an official 7990 straight from AMD, and uh, though they did uh, take a little while to come out with it, they finally have released it, and this will uh, sit right up there with the fastest video cards in the world, and uh, according to some, depending on what benchmarks tests you might run, this might be the fastest video card in the world. Again, that will uh, vary depending on what types of tests you're doing and your use case scenario. Let's take a look at uh, the video outputs that we have here. We have four mini display port outputs and a dual link DVI, DVI output. So those are all going to be able to handle high resolutions up to uh, and uh, sometimes exceeding, depending on the configuration, 2560 by 1600. And uh, other than the display outs, uh, let's talk a little bit more about some about the GPUs and the memory that's involved. Uh, we already mentioned two 7970 gigahertz edition GPUs. That gives you a total of 4,096 stream processors for a total compute performance of 8.2 teraflops which is pretty massive if you follow teraflop ratings of GPUs. Uh, you get 256 texture units. Uh, it, can, it has a texture fill rate of 256 gigatexels per second, 64 ROPs, uh, pixel fill rate of 64 gigapixels per second, and you also have uh, 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Now, something that often comes up when talking about memory in video cards uh, is how much memory is actually accessible. You get 6 gigs, that's 3 gigs per per GPU, which is the same amount that you get with a single 7970 gigahertz edition GPU. So six gigs, but effectively three gigs per GPU that can load because it will load the same uh, texture data and whatnot into the memory for both GPUs. It's identical, so both of them can access their own, G uh, their own memory uh, that's available. 
Also, you get a total data rate uh, of 6 gigabits per second on the memory, which again is quite impressive. That gives you a total memory bandwidth of 576 gigabytes per second, again, which are very impressive numbers. Uh, now, apart from that, I've showed you the GPUs, but I didn't mention that it has a very nice backplate right on there, so that's a, a nice add-on feature. Keeps the componentry on the back protected, gives you a better and cleaner look uh, when you're actually uh, ins have the video card installed. Uh, also, for power delivery, you have two eight-pin supplemental. Uh, I'm sorry, two eight-pin PCI Express power connectors. And then finally, down here, as you might uh, recall from, for instance, the 7970 and the 7950, you have a dual BIOS switch. So that will allow you to uh, set up a couple different BIOS configurations and switch between the two. So a very full feature card. And uh, one other thing you might be wondering is where and when can I buy this? Well, the answer is you might have a hard time finding them. If this is anything like the 6990, uh, they were very, very difficult to keep in stock because whenever they did come in, they were uh, often bought up quite quickly. Uh, but this is actually the reference design card straight from AMD. Uh, you might be seeing cards that are similar to this. Uh, some might be exactly like this, although I can't say at this time if I know of a GPU or of a, of a card vendor that's actually going to be coming out with a straight reference design model. But you might see some uh, other designs that uh, some card makers come out with, uh, add-in board vendors might come out with where they've done uh, something different with the cooling solution or that sort of thing. But frequently you'll see the uh, same uh, GPU layout and the same PCB layout on those cards, even if they go with a custom cooling solution. Uh, but keep your eye out for the 7990, and we will be doing some benchmarks on this as well. So, uh, of course, stay tuned to Newegg TV for those. And that is going to wrap it up for this quick first look at the AMD Radeon HD 7990, folks. And we will be giving this card some benchmark runs to test out its performance. We'll be following up with that in a future video. But thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, you can find them on our Newegg TV YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.